Hi, I'm Yale Teaspoon and today I'm going to be talking about this beauty right here. The amazing book is not on fire. Dan and Phil recently came out with the tra official trailer for their movie about the amazing tour is not on fire and my god it looks so cool. I wish I could have seen that live because it's just it looks like so much fun. Anyways, that inspired me to kind of do a video about this book, which I have owned for almost a year now. Uh, so, I got this book when I was doing my exchange in Sheffield, and I was actually visiting London, and I just happened to be in a bookstore and I saw this, and I was like, okay, it's like now or never, because I had been thinking about getting this book, but you know, shipping to Finland and all that. And yes, I got four pounds off, don't look at that, I'm a poor student. But even if I had paid the full price for this, this is worth like every penny. Uh, it's got hard covers and it's pretty thick. And from the very first page you can tell that it's going to be a very colorful and very fun book. So the book pretty much documents their life from like childhood and there's high school experience, university experience, um, little like trivia and stuff um, about their apartment, how they met, how they started YouTube, uh, just little memories about their life and people that they have met and all that. It's very colorful and very nice. I love that they have so many pictures here. Their stuff of like their travels and what they like, especially what they did in Japan and what they saw there. There's like a Dan and Phil manga section, and it it's such a funny book and like the colors are really really great and I like, love that. They have pictures of the fun art that they have gotten and overall I really enjoyed the book and there's there's a lot to read. Uh, at parts it might seem kind of like it was made for a younger audience which is completely fine and their like audience seems to be a bit on the younger side like teenagers and preteens and the book was made for the fans so of course there's part that's that's kind of more geared towards younger people, which is, like I said, completely fine. But myself, I kind of find myself at some parts kind of flipping through. But there were also parts that I really liked and I kind of read over and over again. And especially my favorite parts was the university experience. Like I said, uh, I got this book when I was doing my exchange in Sheffield, so it was really nice that I was experiencing the British University and at the same time I could read about their experience in university and I could relate to the things that they were saying and that was a really nice thing for me and if you are someone who's thinking about doing an exchange in England maybe you could enjoy these university chapters as well and it was kind of fun to re reflect my experience with theirs and see what was the same and maybe what wasn't. And I especially liked hearing about Dan's experience in university because he talked about like he was doing a law degree and how he was kind of inspired because of Legally Blonde. And when I was younger I was also like really into Legally Blonde. I love that movie. I still love it. And kind of at, at a point in my life I was thinking about maybe going and reading law. Like I was kind of thinking about between like business and law but in the end I kind of came into a realization that like Legally Blonde and all those law shows are not reality. And I'm just, I don't have the patience for law 
So I decided to go with business kind of like really early on, like even before I went to university. So it was kind of funny to read about that. And also Dan talked about like how in university they have these things that is seminars and it's basically people kind of sitting in a circle and they are supposed to talk about what they have learned and kind of what they have read and you kind of just realize that person after person has done less work than the other <laughs> and yeah I could really relate to that because um like the seminars as as an idea it sounds cute that you have like a smaller group of people and you can like do small projects there and you kind of go more depth in depth into the thing that you were like learning about at a lecture but in reality the seminars don't really work the way they are supposed to and like of course when you're jumping from like one school system to another it's going to feel dif like difficult and weird even if like the other another school system is just as good as the school system that you were previously in but in Finland I'm kind of used to the fact that you have like the lecture and seminar kind of together like you don't have these huge lecture halls and you have, have like an hour of lecture and then you go and work in a smaller group like everything happens in a quite small group and you can have like a lecture but you do like um, some projects and stuff at the same time and a lot of the learning happens at school so you don't have that much like homework and stuff to do at home so it was just kind of a weird transition I also really enjoyed the behind the camera pages where they talk about their like process how they come up with ideas how they do their editing and they also have this guide to being a youtuber where they give out like basic tips on what to think about when you start making videos and i started making videos way before i bought this book but i still really enjoyed reading these uh, pages and i have to admit that even though the tips are pretty basic maybe i should reread this chapter and take note because sometimes my videos to turn out to be crap and if you are someone who's thinking about making gaming videos they also have a behind the camera section for their gaming channel where they talk about what makes a good game video how they choose their games like stuff like that and i have to give a shout out to deal here because I love Sims 4 and one of the reasons why I bought this game was because of this guy. Like I know I knew I was going to get Sims 4 because I have played all the previous games. But I have heard a lot of bad things so I'm kind of like uh, maybe I'll wait until like a few expansions come out and stuff. And then Dan and Phil started making Sims 4 videos and I was like that looks so good like i i want that so the next time sims 4 was on sale i bought it and i bought the get to work expansion so and i have been loving it so thank you for making those videos because uh when i bought sims 3 i bought it when i when like most of the expansions had already come out so maybe think about doing the same thing for with sims 4 but i'm glad that i didn't because i have really been enjoying it so overall I really enjoyed the book. Uh, my like only issues are that maybe it's for a younger audience which is completely fine and even though I'm a bit older I really had fun with the book and I really enjoyed it and if you are a Dan and Phil fan regardless of age this this book is definitely for you. My only like other issue is like the smell. When you first get the book, it has this kind of strong um, inky smell. It does fade quite quickly, but that was kind of like the first thing that hit me when I opened up the book. And the only reason that I'm mentioning this is because when Dan and Phil were picking out like the papers, uh, 
there was this thing like I think it was Phil who was kind of touching the papers like oh this has a nice feel and it also smells good so that is like, like the only reason that I'm mentioning this so to some people the smell is lovely I know a lot of people love the smell of ink I however uh, like my books to be odorless so it's not a big deal the smell fades but if you are a bit sensitive to smell maybe kind of when you're opening up the book kind of keep it a bit for further from you but yeah that's my only issue the book is really fun it's very colorful the paper does have a nice feel so good job and yeah it's definitely worth the price it's not that expensive especially since it is pretty thick and it has hard covers so I'm definitely interested uh, to see what Dan Phil will come up next and I'm looking forward to watch them, watching them grow and I'm really looking forward to the movie and yeah maybe in the future I'm like hoping at least that they make another book that is maybe towards like the a bit a bit more like the older audience but we'll see what happens next so that's it for today if you have any questions comments uh, whatever please leave them down below and I will see you next time bye